If you're a heat and air conditioning technician or even a salesperson, what's a word track or a snippet of phrase that you could use in your sales process? And why does it matter? This is a super important question. I'm Scott Sylvan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Waimea Bay on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. Okay, so I have a word track for you and a word track is the beginning of a script. It is a couple sentences that you could use to help with momentum in your sales process or to deal with an objection. And here is the phrase, is that lie, cheat, or real? So if you're dealing with competition, and I'm gonna use the word competition roughly, somebody tells you something like, hey, I had XYZ company come out here. I love XYZ company, they're my favorite person to use here. XYZ company come out here and they told me that I could do all of these things. And so like, here's how I would use this if I were you. I'd say, hey, Mr. Or Mrs. Buyer, like when I hear things like that, I have to categorize the information that I'm giving. Is that lie, cheat, or real? And like stop talking and let that phrase grab into their head, right? They're, 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 this is what happens, they go, what, what, what? Did you say lie, cheat, or real? And then you go, yeah, lie, cheat, or real. They're like, wait, 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 wait. Explain to me what that means. Okay, so in my industry, in my service, there are some people who perform shenanigans on a daily basis. Now, I'm not saying XYZ company is full of shenanigans, but when I hear something like that, I have to categorize, I go, is that a lie? Could be. Are they cheating you somehow? Could be. Or is it real? Now, sometimes I hear something and I'm like, is that lie, cheat, or real? And it is a lie. Sometimes I hear it, it's a cheat. And sometimes I hear it and I have to agree and go, hey, that's 100% real. That is something that does happen with our industry or service. And, you know, I just want to let you know that you're on the right path, right? I don't like talking trash on the competition. I use that term roughly because for what I do, no, no. There, there's just people who copy at this point. So for you, my question is, how could you use this word track for what you do? Is that lie, cheat, or real? Is that lie, cheat, cheat or real? Or is that lie, cheat, and steal? They're, they're, you can modify this, but I like real because I like to end on a good, fantastico note. And that's super important for you, that I like to end on a note where it's positive and not just super negative. Is that lie, cheat, or real? And this is why you can join my email list. So I give you the goods. Not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. That means private coaching, private training, discounted coaching, discounted trading, hidden goodies, swag that maybe nobody knows about. So today, what you should do, could do, maybe do, I don't know, I can't tell you what to do, but grab an index card and or open a Word document or a iPad document, whatever they call that, and, and figure out how are you gonna use lie, cheat, or real? Where would you put that in your sales process? How would you explain that to your buyer? How would you explain that to your client? Oh, you know, that's interesting, is that lie, cheat, cheat or real? Or you know what, in our industry, we kind of have to play this, is that lie, cheat, or real game? And I gotta let you know, like what they told you was 100% accurate. You can't always be super negative, because if it is, it's gonna come across the wrong way for you, right? In, in the world of uh, ocean, you're not supposed to turn your back on waves, and there's some big ones coming up, so I had to check myself so I didn't wreck myself on the beach. So lie, cheat, or real is something that you can have a conversation with in an office meeting, with a buyer, with your significant other, The waves don't normally come up this high, still gotta check. And you're like, hey Scott, is that lie, cheat, or real? <laughs> Let me show you something, right? Let's, let's, what does it look like on Waimea Bay this morning? If you look towards the rock, you're always gonna get huge waves over there. And then as you come through towards the lighthouse or to the church tower, right? This is super swirly today because of the river coming through. So that is real. <laughs> and uh, true watermen know that you're not supposed to turn your back. You're not supposed to turn your back on the ocean, okay? You got one of three things to do from here, just one of three. Find the subscribe button, click on it, and every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, share this video with a friend. They're gonna love you for it. We'll see you soon. Aloha and mahalo.